In today's video, I'm going to review the self-titled album by Beyond the Black. They are a German symphonic metal band, and this is their fifth album released on Napalm Records. This is a band that is fairly new on the scene. They began in 2014. They've had a few lineup changes, but remained fairly consistent since the year about 2016. The only current founding member is Jennifer Haben, the vocalist. It's a female-fronted uh, band. They play symphonic metal with elements of power metal. Songs are very melodic. There are male vocals that contrast the female vocals. This is also my first time listening to this band. I'm going into it as a newcomer. I've not listened to any of the other albums yet, but I will say on my first listen that it was enjoyable. Symphonic metal is not one of my favorite genres, but I think when it's done well, it's definitely enjoyable to listen to. So let me talk a little bit more about what's on this album. So... Some of the songs are more like guitar oriented and energetic. So for example, the opening track, Is There Anybody Out There? So the first thing that caught my attention was the guitar riffs. It's kind of like a classic heavy metal sound and the vocals are more on the traditional metal side, not as operatic as bands like Nightwish. But this song is very melodic. It has this chugging sound and a sing-along quality. They also add in some classical acoustic guitar parts and kind of keeps things interesting. And another song was uh, Winter is Coming, and it reminded me of those like European power metal bands that they mix the keyboards with the guitars and they have a very big sound. This one has some more energy and has power. There are a lot of melodies. The song title evokes something like Game of Thrones. I'm not really sure if it's about that. It's just a pretty decent song. So then there are other songs that have this big and epic sound. So for example, Dancing in the Dark, it's very epic type of song that brings up images of like warriors getting ready to go into battle. It sounds very big, but it's still a very melodic song with some catchy and memorable choruses. They also have some heavy guitars, and I really like the breakdown and the guitar solo. This one gets a little heavier, and they bring back that symphonic sound. Another song, Raise Your Head, it has that symphonic sound, and it just stands out. It really has that cool, like, thick stomp of the bass guitar. And this song delivers everything you would expect from this band. It's just very big, it's epic, and melodic. Now, most of the vocals were done by uh, the female vocalist, but there are times when they bring in like those heavier male vocals. So, for example, on the song Not In My Name, they bring out these heavier male vocals almost as much as the female vocals, which were more prominent on the album. Now, the male vocals are a lot more menacing, almost like a cross between like death growls and traditional metal vocals. I also like the clean guitar sound in this song. It's catchier than many of the other songs. Another one where you hear those vocals is Into the Light. It's a little um, darker, mysterious, but still retains that symphonic metal sound. And the vocals are very big, and they do use those like deeper male vocals in the background. And that creates a nice contrast. I like this song. It has a sing-along chorus, and the guitars have this chugging and galloping sound to it. So finally, the album also has like this folk metal component to it. With, there's a few softer songs, but they still retain that epicness uh, as most of the album. So we have the song Reincarnation, more like traditional power or folk metal. Then they use some of those wind instruments and acoustic guitars or mandolins or something similar like that. And it's accompanied by these distorted metal guitars and the heavier male vocals. So I like how they mix it up on this song. It kind of helps like distinguish like songs from one another. It's like all of these songs, they kind of have their own like embodiment, their own emotion. So I really like that about this album. The song "Free Me," another one that's more folk metal. It's epic. Kind of evokes the image of of like warriors standing around a fire, getting ready to go into battle. One of the slower songs, and it's closer to traditional symphonic metal. The vocals are very big. You have some soaring choruses and the song is very memorable. Then there's Wide Awake, a soft ballad with acoustic guitars and a folk rock sound. And it kind of went with a more stripped down approach. It's very melodic and relaxing and it works well with the pacing on the album. And it follows some of the heavier songs. And the song also adds in some heavier guitars and symphonic elements as the song progresses. And they close out the album with I Remember Dying. Um, it's a softer song with some harmonized vocals. I like how they mix like the low vocals to contrast with the female vocals. And 
They use some sounds and instruments to kind of give it a very like big and epic sound, but at the same time retaining this folk metal sound. Has some heavy uh, guitars and wind instruments, and it just gives it a very big sound in general. So, in conclusion, I enjoyed this. I wasn't expecting much with it. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, symphonic metal is not always my go-to, but every now and then an album comes out that's very good and probably something I will return to often, maybe in the next few months. I don't think this album has any filler. I think the songs are very catchy. They're memorable. They have a sing-along quality to, the, to them, and the vocals are very good. The you know, vocals are not as operatic um, as like a band like Nightwish, like I mentioned before, but very enjoyable. My score for this album is an 8 out of 10. I'll probably listen to their other albums eventually just to get a taste of what the other ones sound like. I feel like this is um, a consistent band, and this is probably one of the better uh, bands in the symphonic genre. So... That's all. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments section. I'll uh, have some more videos uh, coming up this week. Uh, I have lots of anniversaries, so I'll be doing those this week. So that is all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.